Hello and a warm welcome to Wembley Stadium here in London. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's England and they take on Scotland. Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. And this confrontation is underway. Walker. And England's come away with it. Walker. Can he finish here? What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. So now a corner. He'll take this on. Well, just centimeters over the bar with that powerful shot. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Into the centre from Walker. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, no problems defensively. Takes the shot. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Well, he certainly caught all of that, but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. to move across and deal with the danger. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted, and well, that's the result. Disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Jay Adams. Foden. And Harry Kane ready to pounce. Well cleared away. B. 
Billy Gilmore. It's with McTominay. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Cross could be useful. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. Bellingham. Not high quality defending. And given away by Scotland. Kane. Can he find the net? Putting his body on the line. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. <laughs> Hasn't come to very much. And Bellingham. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Kane and he's won the ball Callum McGregor and we are going to have two additional minutes Hanley here's Robertson John McGinn can he convert Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. Just hasn't been able to get going at all, has he, Jude Bellingham? We know he's capable of so much better. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. again here and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us and Harry Kane ready to pounce well it didn't happen for them in attack well, they're trying to get right into his face well nicely cut out now what can they do with the ball A very timely interception. Scott McTominay. Kane. Well, he's lost the ball. Can he finish? A smart stop here. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he's fired over the corner. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw in here. <laughs> 30 minutes to go then. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Andrew Robertson. And 
challenge over the touchline for what will be an England throw. Well, foul play, says the referee. England couldn't hang on to the ball. Hanley. Here's Robertson. Kieran Tierney. Grant Hanley with it. Oh, he's given it away. An incisive pass. Defended well. Just 15 minutes remaining. Dykes. Adams. And he takes it on. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Well, far from textbook defending. And crossed in there. And just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game. That's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And the penalty has been given here. This to open the scoring here. And confidently converted. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here Ryan Jack oh beating his opponent with ease and another one two quick goals will it turn out to be the two punch knockout Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Dykes. Slipshod passing. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.